This is like a real get ready with me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diafne. If you're new here, welcome. Bienvenue and thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can see by the title, today is a super exciting video. We're doing a full get ready with me. I'm talking hair, makeup, outfit, jewelry, perfume, the whole nine. So if you're excited for this video, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the beautiful family. Okay, <laughs> now let's get into the video. <laughs> so we're going to transform this beauty here into this beautiful girl. We're doing a get ready with me to go to brunch. Like I said in the intro, this is a full get ready with me. So let's start, okay? I'm super, super excited, but I'm gonna try to do this chit chatty. I'll show you the products, but mostly talk to you guys about stuff you know don't mind my hair you guys i know i usually don't look like this but like i said we're gonna make it work so i'm going to prime the face i'll have everything linked down below for you guys to know exactly what i'm using so how are you guys doing i do hope all is well a little update about me I don't think it's really an update, but just like, you know, just like things I want to tell you guys. So you guys, I've been feeling very down, like down, low energy. Now I have a feeling that I'm feeling like this because of all the events that occurred back to back to back. So. I'm going to open up here and tell you guys a little bit about, you know, my personal life. Number one, if a lot, if you guys saw my get to know me video, which I removed because I just feel like, um, first of all, that get to know me video were not questions that you guys asked me. Those were questions that I looked up on the internet of what questions are mostly asked when you're trying to get to know someone and then i did the video so you know i took it down and secondly if you did watch that video you would have known that i was married okay and right now i am no longer married so my ex-husband and I separated back sometime last year. So that was something, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever experience separation, divorce, whatever, but it's never, even if you guys are amicable and just cordial, it's never an easy thing to go through. So that was one thing that happened. So that happened, then I moved to a new place and then something else that happened that I just feel like I'm not ready to talk about. It was great news and then it turned into bad news. And then my great aunt passed away. So I don't know you guys, I just feel like it was a lot of bad things and other little things in between that I'm not even mentioning. Simba was strong. Oh, Betli, voila. Oh, yeah. Yes, I will. But, yeah. So, all of that combined just kind of took a toll on me mentally. And the mental toll is then manifesting physically where I have all these pain, I have, you know, something is always wrong, I just don't feel right, I'm lightheaded, things are just not going well, you know what I mean? But, I'm saying all of this to say, when something happens to you, or any little thing, 
keep in mind that things affect people differently. I want you guys to keep that in mind. So someone else probably went through the same things that I did back to back in the same sequence exactly the same way, but they would affect, those events would affect them differently than they affect me. You know what I mean? So because of that, I'm saying this to say, if anyone is going through something and if you just can take a break, take a step back, what I did was, instead of taking a step back, I literally tried to work to not think about the things that were happening. So instead of slowing down, I was working more. So what I was doing was staying later at work. So I would start work at 7 in the morning and I would stay there till 7, 8 p.m. And I would do this every single day. And then when I moved, something was going on where I wasn't able to go to work as much. So then I was put on bed rest and I was home. But that time I couldn't do much because I was on bed rest. You know what I mean? But once I was off of bed rest, instead of like taking a step back again to process what happened, they gave me bed rest for like a month. Okay. And I cut it short to a week. I went to the doctor, like I went back to the doctor and I told them, hey, listen, I went to the hospital. They gave me a month off after this procedure. Like, I don't think I need all of that. I'm fine. I feel fine. I cut it down to a week and I went back to work. Now, when I went back to work in the beginning, everything was fine. I felt good, you know, because I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, I don't have time. I don't want to think about this. This is so tragic. So I was just working. Eventually, which is now, as I'm talking to you right now, it, it crept up on me. And what I mean by that is now when I'm at work, it's manifesting in ways that I've never experienced before. So when I'm at work now, I feel lost. I don't know what's going on. I forget the smallest little things. I feel down, I feel sad, I'm lightheaded. It's it's just nothing good. Like, I just do not feel good there. You know what I mean? Honestly, guys, the only thing I feel good doing is recording. Anytime I feel bad or I'm sad or something is going on, even if I'm going to record a video that I'm not going to put out, this is like a therapy for me. I sit down. I turn on my lights, I turn on my camera, and I just talk. That's the only thing that feels good to me. That's the only thing that gives me relief. And it's not really in a sense where before I was just running away from the problem. Right now, it's more like I can do this on my own time. I feel like sometimes when you go through something... You just have to process it the way that you know how to process. You know what I'm saying? You must take time to process it the right way. Maybe go to therapy, maybe talk about it, maybe pray about it. But you have to give yourself time before you jump into your normal routine. For me, I wanted to jump into my normal routine as soon as possible, but that didn't work for me. So I'm going to take a step back. I need to feel good again. I need to feel like myself again what's more important the bills the hauls the shopping the whatever or my health the way that i feel my happiness you know what i'm saying that's more important so like i don't care if i don't feel good i don't care everything else have to wait it's me first you know what i'm saying so i went on a little rant there if something traumatic happens to you and you need time off, you take as long as you need. You take your time off because your mental health is more important than anything else. Everybody else is going to project their insecurities and their fear on you. Like, child, listen, matter of fact, don't tell nobody what you're going to do. Just do it. Okay. They'll see when it's done. I'm telling you because everyone's advice is really their own advice to themselves because they're scared to do something like take a risk or whatever. So just do it. Like 
just do it get yourself right before you get into your normal routine and if getting into your normal routine is what helps you get right then do that but for me i tried it and it was a big mistake that's not what helps me like no i just need time to process what happened and truly understand like okay these things happen everything happened for a reason like you know what i mean like sometimes things happen because god is protecting you from something else like i hear these things but right now it's just like yo cool but like why did that happen to me you know what i'm saying so i'm not there yet i need to process a little more so that's just what i'm going to do as you guys can see i've been chit chatting for about 20 minutes and i'm still not even halfway with my makeup so i'm going to do a little bit more makeup and less talking okay let me just blend if you guys um agree or even disagree leave you know your thoughts down below i would like to hear what you have to say about what i just said like if you need time off then you should take it um i mean if you have the resources to do so of course because if you have kids i don't think you can take time off from your kids maybe you can if you have like grandma or dad or someone who's willing to help you so i think if you I think if you need it, you should do it. You know what I mean? But let me know what you guys think about that. Leave comments down below and let me know how you feel about my approach to dealing with things like things that happen to you. Okay, so we did quite a little bit of stuff. Well, not really. I wiped off the powder that was under my eyes with my Sephora Micro Smooth. Like I told you guys, I'll put everything on the screen here for you. And then I powdered my entire face with my Chanel uh, powder. I'll put it on the screen. It's the Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. All right, so now I'm going to a little bit because I feel like my face looks very powdery right now. So, not a lot, but a little bit, just to like settle the powder. I'm going to bronze and use my uh, bronze and what's the other one? Bronze and the other blush. I'm telling you guys, but yeah, anyway, enough of all that sad talk situation. Just know that I'm going to take a step back so I can take care of myself. You know, I feel like I have this thing where I'm like, oh no, because if I take days off of work, then who's gonna do the do, do? Who's gonna fill in my position? Well, girl, if you make a big mistake and they fire you, who's gonna fill in your position then? Okay then, so it's like, you gotta let that go. And you gotta do what's good for you. You gotta do what's right for you and your family and your mental health and yourself. And if you don't have the resources now, learn how to get them. But I think it's imperative that you do put your mental health first when it comes to stuff like that. As I create healthier habits for myself, more positive thinking, more praying, more living in the now and not stressing about the future if you know what i mean more figuring out which direction i want to take my life in because everything was like a reset for me you know what i mean the path i was on it just took a turn and my life just reset itself so now i have to adapt myself and figure out which direction is best for me you know what i'm saying um it's not easy at all to just um adapt because something you were building towards is now not working but you have to be flexible in that sense so you can kind of 
be more fluid you know what i'm saying like this is not working move on to the next so that's where i am in life right now almost like rebuilding kind of so yeah <music> This morning I try to make a little vloggy vlog content. You guys, this is my thing with vlogs. Vlogs are beautiful and I love them. But number one, I feel self-conscious walking around with my camera in public, especially given the fact that my vlogging camera, well I have two vlogging cameras. The M50, the newest one that I purchased that I showed you guys, well, that I talked about in a vlog, has a big Sigma lens on there. And it's so big, like, it makes me self-conscious. Like, I don't want to walk around with that. So I'm thinking maybe I should have purchased that one with the kit lens. And when I'm out in public, I can use the kit lens instead. So I feel like I should just vibe and just use the sigma in public anyway but i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's a little intimidating to other people like i went to do my nails yesterday and um i was vlogging and the lady was like pulling herself back and i was like oh don't worry like i'm not like i'm not recording you i'm just vlogging myself she's like oh you vlogging and i was like yeah and she was like, oh, okay, because I saw you outside with the camera. Because I was trying to take the place that says nails, like, you know, vlog stuff. And she was like, oh, because I saw you with the camera outside. She was like, I was thinking, I hope she's not taking me, but she must be vlogging. So I feel like the whole vlogging thing kind of intimidate people. And the third thing, because I'm such a, I don't know, like I'm such a, I want it to be done a certain way kind of person. I just haven't perfected the art of vlogging yet. So it bothers me to just put out anything. So that's why sometimes you guys don't even get weekly vlogs. It's not that I don't vlog. It's the fact that I just don't like the way it turned out. I don't like the footage. I don't like the angles. Like, you know, all of that. I am trying my best. I'm remembering now to take my camera and what I'm going to do is invest in more batteries because yesterday I went to dinner and both of my batteries were dead both of them and I was just like girl you need more batteries because this is this is not it you know what I mean so yeah maybe I need two three like two three batteries for each camera anyway I think we're just about done. We're gonna do the lips. Ah! I'm gonna move on to hair. I'm not really gonna do much to my hair. You guys know, like, I'm not really a hair person, but. We're gonna move on to here. My hair is dirty. I need to wash it. But I'm gonna try to do something cute. <laughs> this is what we're gonna get. This is what I use. This is what I use to get my hair together. Today, we're just gonna do a cute little, we're gonna figure it out. Ugh. You guys, my hand. I have the worst pain in my wrist i was saying it's because you know i sleep wrong or whatever but like you guys it hurts so bad and it never goes away no matter what so right now my hair is dry so i'm just gonna quickly oil my scalp this is like a real get ready with me it's not just for, you know, for the sake of the video. <laughs> like, I'm really getting ready. 
and I use this oil on my real hair because as you can see my hair is not the healthiest I have thin hair and my hair my hair doesn't vibe with me putting extensions in it it doesn't like it but sometimes I just want a different look so I'll do it anyway I like to use this moisturizer this is a so much moisture it's a classic moisturizer from as I am so I'll put this on my hair like my actual hair no, and then it'll start looking different. I don't really care for the extensions because I don't care. this because I put a lot of gel on my hair set my hair for about 20 to 30 minutes make sure it just sits as you can see it's not going to be super sleek down because I do have like two rows of extensions in but it's still going to be sleek especially the front and then where I'm gonna have a little bumpies or whatever I'll go ahead and put a bandeau on there and I'll make it really cute so you guys will see I'm going to let my hair set and then we'll be right back all right guys so the makeup is done you guys already know it would be a natural makeup always um already my hair is set already and i already did the bun all i did was roll it around itself now for the finishing touches i'm going to put this bandeau around because you can see like it's not super sleek down like right here because of the of the thing I have on so I'm gonna put the bandeau around like so remember this is like a silk thing so tie it as tight as you can I think it's super cute it adds a little bit of color but it's not too much I'm going to tie it and like tuck it in so yeah i really really like this bandeau you know when you flip it you have like the little louis sign the little colors and everything like i love this one for jewelry we're keeping it simple but cute i'm wearing my movado watch my David Yerman bracelet and this little bangle here is from Ana Luisa. I'm wearing my rings like always. On this hand, I have a bracelet from Ana Luisa. My necklace is from Ana Luisa as well. It matches the bracelet. My jumpsuit jumper situation is from Mango. It's coming up in a haul pretty soon. The bandeau is from LV. My earrings, this one is from Marjorie. And this one is from Forever 21 H&M, one of them. My shoes are from St. Laurent. 
and my bag is from Coach, is the Pillow Tabby. And for perfume, I'm wearing the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is the end of the video. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this full get ready with me where I show you every single thing. I think it was super cute. So let me know in the comments what you think. I can do some more of these. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.